Hey guys, we're in the gym today with Dr. Brian Campbell from Excel Movement and Performance here in North Carolina. We're gonna take a look at a few ways to make sure that we're staying healthy and on field all season long. Dr. Campbell, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, what are we gonna take a look at? So today we're gonna to start with looking at ankle sprains and how do we prevent a lot of these ankle sprains from happening or if we're having recurring ankle sprains. So one drill I love giving to our soccer players that come through is what we call a Kosick squad. What it's gonna do is gonna focus on not only increasing mobility at the hip, which we commonly see is not happening for our athletes, but it's also gonna increase the strength of the hips. It's gonna help take that stress off the ankle that typically leads to a lot of these ankle sprains. Um, so we're gonna focus on making sure we get the stress to the hip complex and not through the ankle joint. Awesome. So with this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have you get into a wide squat position. Okay. Essentially from here, we're gonna to try to just do a lateral lunge, making sure we focus on keeping the knee on the inside of the foot. So as you come to this way, we wanna make sure this knee stays in, which is gonna allow you to keep more stress through the inside of that foot. And then as you come back up to that standing position, you're gonna push right through that back pocket area. Okay. And then we're gonna go side to side. So as we go through this going side to side, we're just making sure that we don't feel a lot of tension through that quad. We want to make sure that tension stays in that glute area. We want to make sure that we're keeping our big toe down as well, so that makes that allows us to push through the inside of the foot, getting that hip to work harder, which then puts less and less stress on that ankle joint and okay. the muscles associated with it. So this is a great drill to yeah. really get that burn. Um, getting We're aiming for about 20 to 30 good reps. So I like to start with three sets of 10, but if, if individuals can't get to 10, you just break it up into more sets. But the idea is 20, 30 good reps. So after looking at that and going through maybe your three sets of 10, how often per week or I don't know, per day should you be looking to do this if you're trying to make sure you're really preventing that ankle sprain? Yeah, absolutely. So this is something that could be done as part of your warm up on, on a daily basis. This could be done after you're done with practice or any type of training as well. So this is something that can be done effectively every day. Um, Minimal dosage we would recommend is at least two to three times per week to really make it effective, making sure you're getting those muscles to start firing correctly. Dr. Campbell, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, yeah. he is at Excel Movement and Performance in North Carolina. Anything you want to tell the kids before we go? Just make sure that you uh, include movement as part of staying healthy and making sure you can stay on the field and stay consistent. There you go. You heard it from the man himself. If you guys want to check out his stuff right now, you can find him on Instagram at? At ExcelMP. So X-C-E-L. There you go. Make sure you guys check out his stuff. He's got a lot of great stuff going on there. If you guys do have any questions for us, feel free to reach out to either one of us and we'll hopefully be able to answer any questions you guys have. That's all we got for you guys today. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video.